distinction between trade bills and accommodation bills. The basis trade bills and accommodation bills. Basis one, nature. In case of a trade bills, these bills are based on sales and purchase of goods. In case of accommodation bills, these bills are drawn to help someone in need of funds. Second basis consideration. In case of a trade bills, there is a definite consideration for which the bill is accepted. In case of accommodation bills, the acceptor may not receive consideration for his acceptance. The third basis is the extension of credit. And if the extension of a expand extension of a credit, in case of a trade bills, these bills are a form of a credit extended to the purchaser of goods. In case of accommodation bills, these bills do not have the character of a loan. Fourth basis, this is proceeds. In case of trade bills, when, when these bills are discounted, the proceeds remain with the holder. In case of accommodation bills, when these bills are discounted, the proceeds may be shared by the two parties. Fifth one, that is recovery. In case of trade bills, if these bills are not dishonored, the amount of the amount may be recovered easily through the court. In case of accommodation bills, it may not be easy to maintain a court case for recovery of the amount. 